Supply chain issues are not enough to put a damper on Valentine's Day sales at a local flower shop. Despite sourcing issues, News 8's Adam Pinsker tells us why sales aren't wilting. Adam. Yeah, Phil, you know, normally Florida's can get flowers from southern Indiana, believe it or not, but due to a variety of issues, they've had to search the globe, places like Holland, South America, Italy, even Israel, to make sure the shelves are stocked here at home. Look at all those beautiful roses over there. They are still the most popular flower this Valentine's Day, but Sarah Gillespie, a Gillespie florist, says the wholesale price for roses went up 30% this past year, a cost she decided not to pass along to her customers. We are absorbing some of that cost just to help out our consumers and make sure that our sales stay strong. Gillespie says she couldn't find the peony, Indiana's state flower, in time for Valentine's Day. One flower that we had difficulty getting this year were poppies, but I actually got some from Italy of all places. Over the past two years, supply chain issues, labor shortages, and the weather have caused Gillespie to look well beyond Indiana for a variety of flowers. If you see the 10 inches of snow outside, that's one of the reasons why we can't get local flowers. So we do have to pay to have them shipped up from other places. But Gillespie staff isn't cutting any corners. They have extra space to store arrangements. And even if you're just getting around to doing your Valentine's Day shopping, flowers are still the best way to stay out of the doghouse. Your sense of smell is linked to your long-term memory. And I don't know if people realize this, but the smell of flowers, especially for a special occasion like a wedding, when you smell flowers, it can bring back those long-term memories, such as your wedding day or maybe the day that you got engaged. Now, Gillespie's is open tomorrow and Sunday, so time is not an excuse to get that Valentine's Day gift. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.